Welcome back, Pure Structure Traders, for another market analysis for the London session. Today is August 30th, 2021 here in Hawaii and will be August 31st, 2021 in London. Today we'll be going over S&P 500 gold and also oil, giving you guys some of the levels we're going to be looking at. So again, if you guys do like these videos, please go ahead and smash that like button. If you are not subscribed to the channel yet, please go ahead and subscribe. Any questions you guys got, feel free to pop them in here on YouTube. We would love to get back to you guys. But with that said, let's go ahead and pop into it. Um, so for S&P 500, we did have a nice upward movement today. Just kept climbing and climbing. Got all the way up to these 3475s. And you can see from there, started to try to pull down. Uh, right now, still strongly bullish. What do we really want to see? We want to see S&P try to push through this level. Got a little bit of a micro support it's trying to create here. Kind of right around this area of 25. So we'll see what happens. I do think it's going to go back up here and try to retest these 3475s. If it does, we'll see if it gets through that. Maybe comes back and uses it as support and then continues the move. If not, if we just fail to get through it, look for that double top opportunity. And then a pull down back into these 451125s or 4502s as the next levels of support down. Really not too much here happening on S&P. Again, there's this little micro area that's trying to create the support, maybe to push back up here to these 3475s to retest. Let's take a look at a smaller chart here. Moving this over for you guys, you can see the smaller chart here that we have up. It is trying to curl to the upside right now. You can see one, two, three touches there. And we're trying to push right back up into these 3475s. So we'll see if we get this and then maybe a rejection. If we get a rejection and it fails to go through, you could look for a short that is a fade against this bullish trend. It's going to be a little bit more risky, but I do think we may end up getting a deeper pullback between this these two areas right here and maybe then look for a nice bounce and continuation. Uh, it's going to be a little bit harder to try to play off those 25s, but if that's an area you want to try, go ahead. Um, not really a level I'm looking for right now. Either I'm going to short 34.75 if we fail to get through, or I'm going to be looking for the support down below. But again, you could have uh, one of two things. You could be going long here at these 25s, or you could take a fade even right in between, right off these 29 to 30s and try to push it down from here. But I think the more safer route is going to be up at these 34s and then the rejection and pull down. So we'll see what happens there on S&P. Again, below these 1125 is going to be 450225 and then 4492 even as our next levels uh, down below for support. Let's go ahead and move over into a gold chart here. See what's going on. So gold, we did have nice movement uh, in yesterday's London session. Um, to the upside and then it pulled down from there try to retest our levels down below uh, during the US session into these 11 to 12s and then tried below that towards our 09.1 uh, didn't get all the way there before it shot back up so I do think gold actually is going to try to pull up even higher we'll see what happens still got to get through this little bit of a uh, resistance here 16 and maybe as high as these 17 to 18s that's going to be our area of resistance right now through that level next level up 1820.9 and then above that next level of resistance 1826.2 supports underneath these 11.8s is going to be 1809.1 and then below that we're going to have a little bit of a deeper one 1800.1 as the next level let's take a look at a smaller chart here on gold for you guys so pulling this over you can see we're curling back up right now to the upside uh, nice push. I do think we'll try to retest those 17 to 18s and then see what happens. Again, next level of resistance going to be those 1820.9s. Um, if we do get back below this 16, again, we could look for the market to try to dip a little bit deeper into these 1811s and then 1809. Maybe find the support here and then try to bounce back up from that area. Uh, deeper underneath that, 1800.1 is the support underneath that. So we'll keep that in mind. But again, we'll look out to see if the market comes back up to these 18 to 20s. That's going to be our area that we're looking for the rejection and then a push right back down. So we'll see if we get that opportunity here on gold. Let's go ahead and move over into crude oil for you guys. So crude oil, still been some nice movement actually. Had um, the market pop up above our level 68.57, came down below, and then came right back, retested that level 68.57, and then pushed back up to our next level 69.37. Didn't get all the way down to our support underneath 67.86, which is okay. Still got an opportunity to play off this level here 
to push back to the upside of 69.37. So I do think that oil may be coming right back down to the support here. We'll keep an eye out for it. But 68.57 is going to be the area where we're looking for that support bounce. We'll see what happens there. But if we curl back up, look for the market to try to curl back up into this area of resistance 69.37. Sorry, we'll pull this up here again. Resistance is going to come right here at the 69.37s. If we can't get through that, look for the rejection and then the pull right back down. We'll look out for that. That's going to be our opportunity. But right now where it's currently at, not really any trades right now. Looking for the market to come deeper into 68.57 and then get the bounce uh, for the continuation of boom move. So we'll see what happens here at these 57s. If we get below that, look out for 67.86 and then 66.89 as the levels down below. Below 89 is going to be 66.29 as support. But that's it. That wraps it up for S&P 500 gold and also oil. Again, if you guys do like these videos, please go ahead and smash that like button. If you are not subscribed to the channel yet, please go ahead and subscribe. Any questions you guys got, feel free to pop them in here on YouTube. We would love to get back to you guys. Now, if you're struggling to find consistency and success in trading, feel free to become a member with us. Take some coaching sessions. Take a coaching program with us. We would love to help you find consistency and success in your trading journey. Um, other than that, if you guys continue to trade, make sure you guys well you guys have a great night take care bye